Hello everybody, my name is Burnage, and this is my review for Choplifter on the Sega Master System. In Choplifter, you play as a helicopter called a Hawks. That's Hawks with a Z, so you know you're frickin' cool. One button is used to turn your helicopter, and the other to shoot. If you're facing the screen, you'll instead drop bombs used for hitting tanks and boats. Your sole mission in Choplifter is to rescue hostages from the enemy base. But only 40 of them. The rest of you guys better start running. Blast open the enemy barracks and hostages start running out for you to pick up. Once you land, the enemy starts sending in tanks though, so be ready with your bombs. Also be careful where you land. If you land on a hostage, they die. Even if they're in the water. Bring 40 hostages to safety and you're off to the next mission. There are only three levels in Choplifter, although it feels more like four. Once you beat the third level, you get a reskin of the first level, but the layout is completely different, so it feels pretty new. After that, you play the second and third level again with no changes, and then when you beat those, you get the credits and the game loops back to the original first level. This game is a bit of a challenge, especially level three. That one makes the first two levels look like mindless baby games. It's a cavern, so you have less space to work with, and there's stalactites that give you even less space to work with. Then there's these lava pools that shoot up fireballs, sometimes all the way up to the stalactites, so you never know if you're just gonna die with no hope of survival. At least lives reset at the beginning of each level, so even if you goofed on the last level and barely scraped by, you'll get three more lives to piss away in 30 seconds. Also, Superman is here? What am I doing if Superman is here? He could rescue all the hostages at the same time while taking out all the enemies just swinging his dong of steel and probably also eating an apple or something. But I'll risk my life anyways just for funsies. All he ever does is appear, flex, and fly away. Thanks, Superman. Real super. I really like when games go the extra mile. Even if it's just something simple. Like, if you get to the back of the cave, there's a huge building with hostages, which I assume is supposed to be, like, the main enemy stronghold. There are enough hostages in the first three buildings, so you never have to go that far, but you get this small reward for your troubles when they could have just used the same old hostage building here, too. Also, in the fourth level, whenever you drop off hostages, the guy from Excite Bike flies across the screen. You probably won't get through this game grief-free, though. The camera can be a bit of a problem throughout the game because it moves based on how fast you're going, and sometimes if you're going really slow, then you'll be right up against the edge of the screen, and you won't be able to see anything coming in front of you. But considering it's directly influenced by your movements, you learn to control it just like anything else, so I can't brag on it too bad. And those level 2 rockets, am I right? Just chillin' rescuing hostages, and I'm dead. No warning, just there one moment and gone the next. Choplifter is easily one of the more fun looping arcade style score building games I've played, but I only recommend it to those who like a challenge. Unless you're satisfied with just beating the first two levels over and over. Those aren't all that hard. Like and subscribe, or when you're in need of rescue, you might just end up being that 41st hostage. Hope you liked the video, and I'll see you next time.